Lesson number one uses basic intervals. And that's going to be the building blocks for all your chords. So it's very important that you understand basic intervals. I've given a special file here that I've made, a uh, video file that you can watch to see exactly how to do the exercises. So here I'm just going to talk in general about what you're trying to achieve here. You're going to be given um, what would be a good idea is when you're watching this video is also to open up the basic intervals PDF so that you can see it. Um, but what you see on that page is a bunch of notes written um, on a staff and also with guitar diagrams above each of the exercises. And what you're really doing is just going through and figuring out what the interval would be above the written note and then writing where that would be on a guitar fretboard. Now keep in mind that there's many places to play these notes on the guitar and I've included all the alternate places that you could play it so when you get started with this um, if you come up with a different answer than me you're still going to find that answer and this is true for the first four or five exercises um, and then after that I'm figuring that you can figure this out for yourself um, so that's where we're going to start now is with with the basic basic intervals and uh, you know I would say take a week to do this exercise, maybe do one line, you know, a day, so four or five exercises. You know, they're going to be hard to start with because you have to look up, you know, different notes and what they would be. And, I, you know, look at the other file that I've given you on that and you'll see that that will help you to get started with this. I also wanted to mention that there is an alternate way of thinking about basic intervals or any of the exercises that you're going to do in this book. And if you take a look at the alternate way of finding notes PDF, you'll see that that gives you a way of finding the notes based on scales. So if you're someone that's starting this course and you already know your scales, basically if you just know your major scales, um, you can, I would take a look at that PDF because it gives you an alternative way to learn um, what the notes are for all these different exercises. Um, so take a look at that, and I think that will help you to uh, move through these exercises faster. If you're still just a beginner, I would still recommend taking uh, the first, you know, two or three pages and doing them by countering intervals before you take a look at this alternative way of finding the answers.